Staying in Lansing, hundreds of people met with lawmakers in hopes of making driver's licenses available for undocumented immigrants. McCoy Scribner joins us now with why organizers say it's been an ongoing fight for 15 years. McCoy? Siobhan, this initiative was coordinated by Strangers No Longer, a group of Catholics who are supporting this call for change. They think this is the year for a shift and that thousands of people will once again become eligible to carry one of these. More than 160 people, that's how many showed up today, to meet with their hometown lawmakers in hopes for one common goal. Each district has a half hour to meet with the representatives. So right now we have like eight meetings going on at 10 o'clock. We've already set up the meetings with the various representatives and senators. Yeah, we have a long list of, of times and, and meetings. All of these appointments with legislators and their staff members look to move forward efforts to regain the right of licenses and state IDs to immigrants, regardless of their status. For the last five legislative sessions, the bills haven't even gotten out of committee. Uh, this is the year we think because of the change in power in the, in the Congress in November, it, it's, um, we feel that we have more support than we've ever had in the past. They add that those affected aren't able to do basic human tasks like take their kids to school and utilize certain pharmacies, among other things. People end up preying on you because you lack identification, because you can't access um, traditional modes of the economy, of our society. Uh, and so at the end of the day, you know, removing that from people was really damaging and hurtful. Those who met with legislators and their staffers say the conversations were rewarding. I think from my perspective, it was a really productive conversation. They're on board with this, but we're hoping that they will convince their colleagues to, uh, to pursue the same issue. They hope this momentum carries into becoming law because they say the community has suffered enough. We're here advocating that it be reinstated, right? So that everyone is safe out on the roads, but also has, has the dignity of being able to have a driver's license. Now, opponents of the legislation say legal licenses should be a privilege for American citizens only. 16 states currently allow undocumented immigrants to get a driver's license. 